Hello! It's been a long ass time since I posted a video and it's because life has been kicking my ass. Like, life has been life and <laughs> it's literally been a series of unfortunate events. <sighs> Listen, it's not funny but it's funny. And it's because of like who I am. Like I'm a morbid person anyway. Like it's fucked up. But like you gotta laugh about it. If you're not laughing, you're crying. And I'm not a big crier, so I just laugh. I don't even know where to start. Okay, maybe like the night before everything went to shit. So it was October 22nd, right? <laughs> get home from work it was a normal day me and my boyfriend it's like around 8 30 at night we're watching ghost adventures of all fucking things and <laughs> all of a sudden you just hear boom i'm like oh my god but there's always accidents on this road because we live downtown everyone's always cutting through and there's like no stop signs. There's a four-way stop, but there's no stop signs right here. So uh, it happened today too. I'll get into that. But this is October 22nd. And um, I parked down further here. Because <laughs> there was no other parking spots. And even when I parked earlier in the day when I got home from work, I was like, mm, let me back up a little bit. Because I felt a little something. I was like, let me just back up just a little bit. So, my boyfriend jumps up and he goes, oh, damn, it looks like they hit a parked car. I'm like, where at? And he was like, oh, it's down there. Don't worry. I'm like, what you mean, don't worry? That's exactly where I parked. So, I fucking book it down three flights of stairs, out of fucking breath, losing my mind. It's the car in front of me that got hit. A fucking parked car got hit. I was like, this is insane. So now I don't park on the street no more. I park in our little like backyard parking lot, even though like I fucking hate it because like getting out of that spot is so hard because there's so many parked cars along the side that you can't see shit until it's too late. But anyway, so that's where I've been parking for the last few weeks. <laughs> and so let me bring you to the next day when everything fucking went to shit. So I guess that car accident, like, made everything even more weird so I left around like 5 30 in the morning to get to work because I'm mainly like 6 to 2 30 is this thing falling or am I just crazy no so I got to work at 6 a.m my sister texts me around like 7 30 she's like are you at work so yeah and, and like that's nothing out of the normal like she asked me that at least like once or twice a week so <laughs> so then maybe like an hour or so goes by I don't hear nothing I forgot all about it she texts me can I call you and I'm like oh my god somebody is dead dying or in the hospital so I run over to my coworker. I'm like my sister just asked if she can call me this is not good someone's dead dying or in the hospital she goes, oh my God, I hope everything's okay. Go, go take care of it. So I call her as I'm running up two flights of stairs to get to the break room upstairs. And she answers and she just starts sniffling. I'm like, oh no. So as soon as she answers, I hear that. And I'm like, who's dead? Who's dying? Who's in the hospital? It's quiet for a second. And then she goes, dad. I'm like, which one? I gave you three options. She goes, dead. I'm like, huh? What? Like, I just started laughing because, like, what? Like, he was only 66 years old. I'm like, huh? Are you sure? So, um, I got all nervous. So I ran into the bathroom. I'm still on the phone. <laughs> I, had to, I had to go number two. I was nervous. So... I did everything one-handed. She's like, what is that noise when I flush the toilet? She's like, it sounds like pots and pans are falling. I'm like, oh, I just had to take a nervous poop. You scared me. So, 
I'm just like, wow, this is crazy. Like I didn't cry at all. My heart was pounding for a little bit. And then like I came to and I was just like, what? So I like walked downstairs. Like she told me the whole story of like how she found out. And so um, I walked downstairs and I find my my cafe manager and I'm still on the phone with my sister and I walk over to her and I'm like smiling. I'm like, so I'm on the phone with my sister, my dad died. And I start laughing. She goes, why are you laughing? <laughs> like, this is how I am. Like, what? I just found out, how am I supposed to react? So she was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Like, are you, go home. Like, what am I gonna do at home? Cause like, it's nothing for me to do. And I don't want to see him like that. They asked me if I wanted to see him and I was like, I don't want that image just burned into my brain. So I stayed at work. <laughs> Still like confused. I'm just like, but how? But anyway, so I only told her and my other coworker and I didn't tell anyone else at the store. So then a couple of hours later, my sister says, so grandma's on her way to the ER. She's got a blood infection and she has COVID and she's recovering from surgery. And I'm like, oh, great. This is something else. I'm like, <laughs> we just can't have one. It just always has to be more than one. So a little after that, she texts me and she goes, she's on life support. I'm like, huh? Like, I'm still trying to figure out like what happened with my dad now my grandma's on life support <laughs> like and then i go and tell my manager she's just like oh my god do you want to go home now <laughs> why does this keep falling i'm like no like what am i gonna do there like i don't want to see this because <laughs> like i did that with my grandma like almost 20 years ago and i i was like 10 years old and that happened i was just like Ugh. So I don't want to see that. So, <laughs> so after work, it was my my mom, my sister, and my sister's wife. We all went to what the hell's called? We went to a tavern right in the parking lot of my job. So it was easier for everybody because we all live so fucking far away from each other. <laughs> and so I get there. They obviously they look rough because they just saw him and they cleaned out all his stuff at the assistant living. So I'm over here like, what do I do? So what do I do best? I just make jokes and I made them all laugh, even though like things that I was saying, like I couldn't even remember what the fuck I was saying because it was like so fresh. And like, that's all I do is just make jokes. <laughs> so then the next day, again, I'm at work at 6 to 2.30. So my sister texted me and she was like, yeah, so we have at like 9.30, we have to go to the funeral home and make arrangements for dad. And I'm still like, God damn, this is crazy. So <laughs> my mom slept over my sister's house so they could all be together and like leave together and like do all that shit together. So then around like 9.30, my sister goes, Chains of plans, we gotta go pull grandma off of life support. I was like, what? Jesus Christ. So in 24 hours, both my dad and my grandma passed away. <laughs> and I'm just like, huh? Like, this is so fucking weird. Uh, what? Like, I'm still, it's been like two weeks and I'm still like, what? <laughs> like, I mean, it registered, I saw them. I saw them at the funeral. But like, it's just so fucking weird how it happened. <sighs> but yeah, my poor uncle, he's fucking destroyed. He lost his only brother. He lost his last parent. So he doesn't want to do anything with the house because he's not ready yet, but he's gonna have to. But luckily he's got a lot of, he's got a lot of friends. And like, he's always like with my sister. <sighs> but like, Jesus Christ, this is nuts. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> you wanna know how fucked up my family is? 
<laughs> after so my dad's funeral was on a Saturday I think it was the 28th and then on Halloween was my grandmom's and I was like no why on Halloween the only holiday that I like so so yeah they both had good like funerals and good services and shit but after <laughs> my grandma's funeral the um the um what they called I guess the funeral director we're saying like oh take the extra flowers we're gonna throw them away so i took one my sister took a couple and then we're like oh let's go like drop them off at grandpa's grave <laughs> my grandma's second husband which is my uncle's real dad but my dad and my uncle are like half brothers but it doesn't matter they're they're fucking brothers but anyway <laughs> my grandma and grandpa fucking hated each other and my grandma is on like one side of the cemetery in a tomb a tomb she's in the wall in a crypt and we had to drive all around to the other side ah! we had to drive all the way down to the other side to get to my grandpa's grave and we put the rest of her flowers on the grave and i was like oh my god i know she's mad as hell that we're doing this because they fucking hated each other <sighs> That was nice. <laughs> what a fucking couple of weeks, man. I'm just glad all these funerals are over with. Because that was rough. <laughs> Woo! And then, listen. This will stay. So this morning. What the hell is today? Is it November 2nd or 3rd? I don't know. It's Friday. <laughs> it's like... Maybe 7, 30, 8 o'clock in the morning. I'm just laying in bed watching TikToks. All of a sudden I hear, Arr! boom. I'm like, oh my God, not again. So I run out. It's on the, the four-way intersection over here. It's like a teenager. His car is like this. This older lady, her car is like that. I'm like, Jesus Christ, it just never ends. <sighs> It's just every year we lose two people at a time. Like, it's always two. Like, four years ago, it was my grandpa and my dog. Last year, it was my other grandpa and my rabbit. And now our dog kicked it all off, Stella. She died in July. And then my dad and my grandma, back to back. Like, what the fuck? I'm so tired of this shit. Like, can we just have one year where nobody fucking dies? I'm tired of this shit. But, I don't know. Maybe next year. <laughs> maybe next year will be decent. Who the fuck knows? <laughs> it's fucking like... Uh, I was like, ma'am. Thanksgiving is in like a month. The table is getting smaller and smaller. What is my life like? <laughs> is this real life? Anyway, <laughs> just laugh at my pain because what the fuck else can you do? Like, I'll be fine. I'm fine. I'll I'll be fine eventually. I don't know. <laughs> See you next time. Bye. <laughs>